Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. I am at work, I decided I wanted to be comfy today so I've actually worn a tracksuit. Nobody sees me by the way, I usually just wear my uniforms then I don't get like my nice clothes dirty or anything. But I wanted to wear a tracksuit so I'm wearing one. I'm just sat here thinking, am I, there is like quite a lot of things that I don't like about people but I do think that I do read a lot into it but i think it is also because i personally feel like i'm quite a nice person and i'm quite genuine and i feel like a lot of people aren't like that and it takes a very long time to realize i was saying it to my girls the other day like there's just not a fake people there's just a lot of not genuine people out there you know like even with like just a lot of genuine conversation that you're having with someone don't say something if you don't mean it. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I would just start another vlog about the whole job process. I didn't mean to start that off on a negative note. Nothing's happened, by the way. I'm just, like, deeply thinking. Anyway, I have an interview tomorrow. So it's Thursday the 5th, and I've got an interview tomorrow, Thursday, uh, Friday the 6th. And so I need to kind of like sort some prep out. I've emailed him. So I only got told yesterday. I emailed him to ask, like, is there anything specific that you want me to prep? But he's not got back to me yet. So I'm just waiting for him to come back to me as well. So I need to get some prep done this evening at some point. I've got a lot of prep, like, already of things that like I like to speak about about myself, Lim Smug Pie, but it's just whether I need anything specific to him and this specific role, not him, but this specific role, do you know what I mean? So yeah, feeling all right about that. Hello my loves, I did actually get cut off yesterday, but I just thought I would come back and let you guys know what is going on. So I have my interview today at one o'clock and it's almost that time. So I'm just kind of sat here waiting, reading over my notes. I have got the same shirt on as my last interview, just thought it was a good outfit and it's only on Zoom. I'm feeling alright about it to be honest. If I'm being completely honest, I'm feeling very, very numb today. So I'm not excited, I don't really feel nervous, I just don't seem to have any emotion. I'm just kind of like on one level today. I'm not sure why. But yeah, feeling all right about it. I think I'm just kind of going a little bit mad now because I've been doing this for such a long time. I thought I had been applying for jobs for a lot shorter time than I thought, but I checked the other day and it's been about seven months all in that I've been applying for jobs. Maybe eight months or something. It was at the start of the year anyway, so I think I'm just, I'm just going a little bit crazy now just like i'm so eager to have a new start and i'm just so eager to just start learning something new and start learning something that i'm really really interested in so yeah but i'm feeling good feeling prepared just i don't know it's a weird it's a weird feeling in it before you go into an interview but it is what it is so gonna have my interview and then i think i'm gonna go to costco and get mm. some stuff for the office i will let you know how i go once i'm done so i've just finished we actually ended up having a phone call because they were running behind on another meeting i have put this t-shirt back on it is wet i'm so hot like so hot and I really, really want to take this makeup off me right now. But there's no point because I need it for this evening. But yeah, it went really well. I, I feel so much better about it now. And the guy that I spoke to was so lovely. And it's just made me, like, really, really want the job. And I don't know. The job just sounds really, really good. And it just seems like it would definitely be a team that I would want to be part of. So we go for stage two next week got another interview next week so i'll let you know how we go hi everyone i look like i'm just a floating head so i had my second interview today sorry this lighting is really putting me off everything so i had my second interview today and i personally feel like it went really well 
but I seem to keep saying that. <laughs> but it's good to have some confidence, isn't it? I do feel like they liked me. It was so it was the second stage of this specific job role, and so it was two different people interview me than it was last week for like the intro yeah i feel like it did go quite well and do you know what is really really weird so basically last week i said to the guy um tuesday wednesday or thursday would suit me for the interview for this interview that i've just had today so he said no problem um like we'll we'll arrange that whatever and then he emailed me then the next day and he said we'll do it on the Friday and the Friday which is today is the 13th and I know people kind of see like something spooky about like Friday the 13th but I actually don't so my granddad actually died on the 13th of October and since he's passed away on the 13th I've found number 13 to be quite a lucky number for me I could be wrong but I don't know but when I tell you the next couple things you'll kind of get it as well and so they said we'll do it on the Friday the 13th so I was like mm, that's strange that they've said that I was available today but I just wanted to have it sooner so obviously no problem I can do Friday that is absolutely fine so yeah I had my interview today it all went really really well and I kind of liked the fact that it was on the 13th because I thought is this a sign from my granddad that he's going to be here and supporting me I'm not too sure and then today then, me and Connor were just sat working and we had some music on in the background whilst we was working. And this isn't necessarily connected to me, but I just thought it was a bit like random. And we were just like playing random music and then Whitney Houston, I Wanna Dance With Somebody came on. And that song was one of Kaylee's granddad's favorite songs and he's passed away but like we weren't listening to that music and it came on and i was like that is so strange those last clips might have been a little bit dark i'm sorry um i had it in the wrong setting anyway and then i was just driving home then so i had a missed call off my dad before but i didn't bring him back um because we was just busy working so then i rang him then on my way home from work but he was ringing me to see how i got on at the interview Anyway, rang him back and he didn't pick up. And then, so bearing in mind, it is my dad's dad that we are talking about, my granddad. So anyway, I was just dr then driving home and my granddad used to work for this company. And you very, 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 very rarely ever, ever see this company on like a vehicle or on whatever. And the days that I'm feeling... A certain way about something or you just need a sign to just know that everything's going to be okay I see them basically it's a green vehicle and then it's got the writing on it of the logo of where he used to work when he was alive and I was driving home on the motorway and I literally drove past one on the motorway it was on the other side going the other way stuck in some traffic and as soon as I saw it my dad rang me and I just think that is absolutely crazy. I don't know whether you'll believe in stuff like that, but I do. And I just feel like it's it's not just a coincidence that I literally saw my granddad's place that he used to work and then my dad rang me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. It was just like, oh my God, like what is going on? So yeah, I feel like we've had some loving around us today, which has been lovely but i'm also kind of like what is going on i don't know but yeah i'm gonna go in now interview went really well and hopefully we get some good news back let's quickly check my emails no nope, nothing just yet i will see you all when i next have an update on the job situation hello my loves we have another update so I spoke to you on Friday. It is now Monday. Quick turnaround. We love these updates coming around quickly. Just enjoying my lunch at work. But I had a call this morning about another update from the job. She's been successful. We're through to the next round, girlies. Woohoo. So the next stage is I'm going in there. 
like it was when I was applying for the other job. Basically, go in, meet the team, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm just feeling really good. He said to me, how did you find the interview? And I said, really well. I think I did really well, personally. I answered everything really well. The team was lovely, so on, so on. He said, well, they felt the same. I thought it was really good. So I was like, oh, that's amazing. And I was telling my mum before, I feel like during these interviews, I don't know, I find it very, very hard to be somebody that I'm not. So during these interviews, I'm just being my authentic self. So the fact that somebody really likes me and wants me to potentially work for their company, it was a really big compliment because I'm not, I'm not putting on an axe. I'm not saying things that aren't true. I'm just picking out all the good bits that I do. Do you know what I mean? So it's just really lovely the fact that they thought the same about the interview, you know? So we're three to the next stage. We're gonna go in on Thursday, meet everyone, see how we all feel and yeah, go from there. I've got a couple of bits that I am gonna prepare. He said you don't necessarily need to like go crazy and preparing anything for it, but I am gonna. So I'm gonna try get it all done tonight or tomorrow I'll get a few bits printed out and then just be able to bring them in and present some ideas to them which is amazing so yeah fingers crossed that it all goes well and we'll have some <sighs> good news this week fingers crossed good morning everyone it is interview day Eek! i'm running a little bit behind i need to hurry up i was enjoying myself too much eating breakfast and having my cup of coffee this morning because I had it downstairs and I was listening to music because I'm home alone. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna start getting ready now. I'll show you my outfit as well once I'm ready. Uh, I've had a shower and stuff, just need to put on some makeup and get dressed. And then we will be ready to go. It's a gorgeous sunny day and we're gonna have an amazing day. And she's gonna get the job, okay? This is the outfit. We've gone from a new white t-shirt from ASOS. The sunnies are also ASOS. The trousers are also ASOS because they're top shop. Uh, the trainers, Sambas. Bag, charity shop. And then I've got my iPad. And the little hoops are TK Max. Yay! We're all ready. Wish me luck. It's going to be a very great day. So, I'm now just waiting for Meg because we're travelling to Sheffield today to go and see the girls' bathroom. Woo! I left the interview place probably about two hours ago now and it went really, really well, I personally think. I'm just kind of someone that doesn't want to like... I don't know. Might be too gassed about it just in case. But yeah, it went really, really well really like the people that were interviewing me it just seems like a really really nice team to work with and the two of the girls that were interviewing me would be two of the girls that i would be working with they interviewed me last week as well and yeah i just just gonna lock my car yeah i just i feel like it went really really well i was there for like an hour and a half i want to say but it didn't feel like too daunting like I felt really really comfortable the head of the department was also there interviewing me for a little bit as well he was lovely so hopefully we're going to find out sooner rather than later I did ask him when I will find out and one of the girls said she's going to try and get an answer for me before the weekend so yeah fingers crossed hopefully everything goes well I'm feeling good about it which is the main thing and I just hope that I get it. That'll be marvellous. Right, we have an update. I'm currently in Sheffield, went to the girls' bathroom last night. So, the guy from the job that I had the interview for yesterday emailed me saying, like, when's a good time to call today? He emailed me at quarter past eight. So then I replied to him, like, half an hour later, saying, um, maybe, like, 10 11 o'clock because i thought meg would have been asleep like for longer baby free gonna rely in we woke up at about nine properly would you say yeah. she's like why didn't you tell him to ring you down 
And I was like, because I didn't want to wake you up. It's quarter past nine now. This has been the longest 15 min 17 minutes of my life. So yeah, I emailed him back saying, oh, actually, you can ring me whenever. My heart is literally being through my chest. Chest. <laughs> it feels like Christmas day. My heart. You laughing at me? Yeah, just videoing yourself. I didn't even. I'm potentially going to get a spray called today. Mm. I put a little bit too much milk in my cup of tea, but that is fine. Happy Sunday, everyone. We have an update. Last time we were sat here is where we gave an update on a job and we are sat here again but this time you girls been successful oh i still cannot believe it i cannot believe it i can in a way that i feel so so proud of myself in all the hard work that i've put into everything and being able to get to this point but I just like can't believe that this is where we're at like the time has finally come and I'm just relieved I think it's just hard because I'm feeling so many emotions like when I found out and I rang my mom I was just crying my eyes out and it was just like such a big relief I was, and I was just so excited and I'm just so so happy and looking forward to a new beginning with within my new role i'm not sure how much it is that i can share on here right now but obviously later down the line i'll speak to them see if i'm allowed to share online that this is where i work kind of thing you know but yeah i feel like it's just a mixture of emotions because obviously i work with connor at the minute and i've been with him for just over two years now and his business has grown so so much in this time but he's very supportive of what i am wanting to do and i'm very lucky and just staying there isn't something that i want to do and it's not a job that i want to grow in if you know what i mean so i'm just honestly i'm so 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 happy and i feel like being knocked back all of those times was definitely for a reason because these people that I'm about to start working with just seem like some of the loveliest people that I have honestly ever met and I'm just really really looking forward to a new start. It is more of a creative job which is so exciting. It's not too far from my house and yeah it's just it's just what I need, it's what I want, it's a type of people that I want to surround myself with, not that the people that I surround myself with right now are bad in my current job. It's just people who have the same interests as me. People who want to talk about social media or want to talk about things that are trending at the minute, you know? The people that I work with right now are just on a bit of a different wavelength to me, which is absolutely fine. Not everybody's going to like the same things, but yeah i'm just honestly i'm over the moon my boyfriend came around last night brought me a bunch of flowers they're currently just in a jug of water though i need to put them in a vase and everyone's just been so lovely i've had so many nice messages off all my close friends and family and i'm just i'm so so happy and i feel like i'm about to be the best version of myself that i have been ever like i don't think i'm ready to be feeling this good so i found out on friday and then yesterday was saturday i was just like i had so much energy i was just in the best mood i absolutely spotless the house did so many bits here and there i should do things like that anyway but because i'm just always lacking energy because i feel like i'm just trying to put in so much effort into finding a new job i feel like the effort's just not there and I just can't be bothered but I was able to do all that yesterday and then obviously that makes it easier for my mum because when my mum's been working all day she did not want to come home and tidy do you know what I mean so it's one less thing for her to worry about because it should be both of us doing it anyway you know 
I've just been in a really, really good mood. And today I've just not been able to stop like screaming. I've like been like, I've got a job. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to starting it now and just having a fresh beginning. You did already. No. I'm just telling the vlog about getting my new job. <laughs> I know. Kettle's just boiled. I'm gonna insert a little video here of when they called me to tell me that I got the job. Meg was videoing me. We were actually in Popeyes having breakfast in Popeyes the day after the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Um, and they called me and we were on the phone for like 10 minutes or something like that um, so I've just like narrowed the video down just to be able to get a nice reaction just because I thought it would be nice to share but yeah thanks for watching everyone I do hope that you enjoyed thanks for coming along the journey with me we are finally there and yeah I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you in the next video